hello guys welcome to this third tutorial in which i'm going to show you how to assign departure and arrival airports or departure and arrival runway how to assign waypoints and how to um, get ready for gate departure so let's get started in the, our last tutorial we loaded the flight plan into the fmc now we are going to take it further for that you need to click on departure and arrival button over here click on here you have these values come up click on departure once you click on departure here you will have all the runways listed on the right hand side of the FMC left hand side has all the seeds or uh, the point that is required to take off from a certain runway our active runway or our departure runway was 09 as we saw yesterday it was given by pro ATC that our departure runway is going to be 09 well i'm going to assign that runway now click on 09 once you click on 09 observe execute button has now come alive you do not need to select any of these seats even if it's listed in pro atc menu uh, i'll show the menu for you if i go into flight plan information here you have all the information it has the departure seat that is alba 1b transition is totip and runway is 09 i don't want to select the seat for now um, i want uh, pro adc to calculate it for me and give me the best seat uh, available at the time of the departure right so i'm just going to close this window now i'm going to take this further i'm going to do is i'm going to execute this part so i click on execute and our 09 is now active right i'm going to go back into departure and arrival page and now i'm going to select our arrival runway or our arrival uh, airport which is delhi vidp i click on arrival here I definitely want to select the stars and I want to select the approach or the transition waypoint which is required to land uh, at Indira Gandhi International Airport Delhi so I'm going to select my star first and then I'm going to select the runway and the transition then I'm going to execute it so my star for Delhi Airport um i'll bring up the in flight menu again go into the flight plan information and if i can just maximize this so we are in a better position to look at all the options here you have it option number eight it shows you the approach the star which is akba2b transition is badat and our runway is an ILS 11 runway what is an ILS runway what is a VFR runway uh, I'm not going to go into the um, deep knowledge on that um, you can find all the information related to ILS and VFR and the landing um, options and all those stuff on uh, when you google it you can find it easily uh, what's an ILS runway um for now we are going to go straight into our main intention that is to get ourselves uh, waypoint and uh, departure and arrival um, runways assigned so i'm going to do that i'm going to select akba2b from the list here now as you can see akba2b runway 11 is not in this list well you go into the next page and you'll find it here akba2b.11 11 is our ILS runway 
so i select this once i select this i need to select the runway runway is ils 11 so i select ils 11 as a runway observe there are two selected um, options here now i want to select is the transition now my transition here if i'm cross checking this b a d a t b a d a t click on this and now you need to execute once you execute this our flight plan is now active and now pro atc knows that we are flying from a certain runway and we are going to land at a certain runway i just close this now what's the next step well next step is about fixing the waypoints or fixing any route discontinuity now sometimes there are waypoints or there are um, what you can say airways which are missed by pro atc or the now uh, fmc where it doesn't know where to go from a certain waypoint all right we are going to fix that and how we do that well we are going to go into legs you find this here go into legs in the legs you will find all the waypoints and the airways that we are going to cover from our departure airport till we arrive at delhi international airport or our destination airport here you have your first waypoint which we are going to take when we take off from mumbai i'm going to go into the next page i'm going to find if there are any discontinuities yes there is here you will find it after dp510 and fs811 fmc or pro atc does not know which airway or which waypoint to follow after that we need to tell pro atc or we need to tell the fmc manually which waypoint we need to follow after a certain waypoint or certain airway here you have the list of discontinuities you will find it here we go into the next page we'll find a runway runway 11 is listed here so we have one waypoint and one airway in between which are been discontinued go into the previous page and you will find that there is a ci11 waypoint which has been missed what we are going to do is we are going to select that waypoint and we are going to put it here once you do that observe that this has now taken into the fmc we need to execute this execute this so that we have all the waypoints till our runway and then it goes into um, gate that is available for you to park your aircraft uh, we are interested just in this we need to land our aircraft at a runway first right so runway 11 go into the previous page check if there are any, any discontinuities no they are not we are going to close this for now we are going to go into this display which shows us the magenta solid line goes from runway 9 and then all the way up we can check our route cross check our route by clicking on this button uh, actually it's not clicking but it's uh, about scrolling so if you have a middle mouse button you can scroll it upwards when when you scroll it upwards you will find that our route is now being created observe our first waypoint dotip which we are going to take and as you go further you have batat listed over here don't worry about all these now uh, waypoints or airways or don't get confused between what are these what it uh, means uh, it means nothing it means nothing you have to follow what has been given and you have been given a route this is a complete route you see there is a pink solid magenta line or uh, a solid line which takes you all the way to vitp 
so you need not worry about all these which are coming into the in between your uh, destination airport and your departure airport so this is what we are going to target our first waypoint totip and our route is now complete we have fixed waypoints any discontinuities we saw there was a discontinuity we fixed that and we are now good to go we are now good to uh, ask the pro atc or ask the atc for uh, departure clearance we need to ask pro atc to give us the gate departure clearance right that's it guys this was all about loading your flight plan fixing any discontinuities and assigning departure and arrival runways and waypoints and airways in between those hope this tutorial will help you see you in the next part of the tutorial where we are going to take this route further and we are going to make some startup checklist we are going to load reserve fuel we are going to see into the cost index we are going to assign our cruising altitude our transition altitude and then we are going to um, assign flaps then we are going to get our aircraft for get departure thank you guys this is sam signing off